welcome to Ed Lloyd Field on the campus of Cardinal Newman High School. We've got some soccer action for you. Rancho Catati paying a visit to Cardinal Newman. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, along with Henry Belmonte. And Henry, thanks for being with us here Hi, tonight. Pleasure. Should be a good matchup. These teams are in different parts of the league. NBL Oak, NBL Redwood. Kind of a final tune-up before league play gets going. And both teams could use a win to get a little momentum going for that. True, and I, and I expect it to be pretty competitive between the two. Yeah, it should be a good matchup. Rancho Catati has had a pretty good season so far. They are 3-2-3. Three, three. Newman was 2-0-2 two, oh, two at one point in their season, and then uh, they've lost five straight, so they'd really like to get back on the winning track. Co uh, talking with Coach uh, Ryan Corvo, they've had some injuries. They've had COVID issues. They've had a lot of things that have hampered them, but it's a very young team, and he feels like they're getting better each and every week. No, no question, and I've seen many of their games. They have been competitive, with the exception of one of those five losses. They've been competitive and in all of those games. Here's the starters. Bermudas and Walker, the leading scorers for Rancho Catati. Their goalkeeper is Calvillo. And on the other side for Cardinal Newman, uh, they will go with the 2-4-4. Four, four. And Mingstab is their goalkeeper. He has had a great year. He had a bunch of shutouts to begin the year. Uh, look for Favre and Abbott, uh, along with some of the midfielders they like to attack with. Tomorrow's only a freshman, again, very young team. Will Lou, you might remember from the football team, and Jacob Carnali as well, as we are now underway. Ball sent back by Rancho. Rancho wearing their white with the blue and a little bit of red trim somewhere in there. Yep, it's a little bit. And then Cardinal Newman wearing their Cardinal with gold trim. Two different systems of play, Dave. Cardinal Newman plays four in the back, four in midfield, and two up top, whereas Ranch Cotati will do a 4-3-3. Four, three, three. four in the back, three in midfield, and three strikers up top. Yeah, Ryan has what he calls that diamond in the middle of the field. He likes to create opportunities for the backs to attack at times and see if they can successfully do that. Pretty good charge right here, but Rancho takes it away. In the midfield there for Rancho was Yael Babadello. He is just a sophomore for them. They have a lot of seniors. Rancho is a veteran team. Their head coach, Nicholas Rogers, who is not here tonight because of COVID. So Daniel Theobald and Kevin McKeon are running the squad here tonight. Whereas Newman seems to be pretty balanced in their lineup. Five seniors, five juniors, six sophomores, and eight freshmen. So they're a relatively young team uh, and, and only going to get better as they get older. Wojcik with the throw in there. Rancho takes it away right in the midfield. Is Edgar Zamora. Zamora sends it down. And hustling after it was Wojcik. Adam Wojcik, the left back. He's one of the senior leaders on this Cardinal Newman team. The ball heads out of bounds. 2.40 minute half. They did away with the overtimes. So that's, uh, I think everybody was happy about that. The double overtimes and then penalty kicks, which used to make games go forever. Yeah. Now it's just a draw if you end up tied up. And Newman's had a few of those so far this year. First four games, they didn't give up a goal. So they were really on a roll defensively there. And as you mentioned, unfortunately, the, uh, the injury bug caught up with them. That one just trickled out on the near side, trying to catch up with it with Sebastian Favre. He is a sophomore forward. A lot of good young players for Ryan Corbo, the head coach for Newman. And as they get experienced, he hopes they can really develop as the season goes along. Not a bad night here tonight. We've had tons of drizzle. It's been freezing cold, but it's actually kind of nice out here. It's been overcast, but no rain. And, uh, of course, I may have just jinxed us, but uh, <laughs> it's fairly pleasant out here. No, great soccer weather. Of course, that big switch they made from the fall to the winter. And, uh, luckily, it happened about the same time most of the schools got turf fields. So that was a good switch. And uh, the turf fields have helped a lot. Boy, there used to be some ugly playoff games on on rotted out football fields that were not uh, turf and boy it always made the end of the season really crazy so everybody's uh, I think pleased to, to be playing on a nice smooth even surface not all rutted up from football guys Rancho trying to throw that in ends up out we see Ryan Corvo on the far side shouting some instructions to his squad as Rancho gets the throw in 
That was Juan Hernandez, one of the juniors on this team. Ball sent all the way back to Calvillo, Jose Calvillo, the junior goalkeeper for Rancho. Cougars looking to attack. Newman takes it away. Liam Curry doing a nice job there in the midfield. Yeah, that's somebody that Coach Quavo uh, spoke highly of today. Uh, speaking to him uh, as a prelude to the game, uh, that's a, a young man. He says, does anything for the team. We'll, we'll, we'll play anywhere you ask him to do. There is Liam with the throw in. Newman will try and reverse it now. Take it to that far side. Lucas Olney with it now. Only one of the seniors. The ball slips through. Favre is out there, but the keeper gets there first. Good opportunity for Newman. However, catching up with that was Jose Calvillo. Pretty good opportunity for Newman as they try to keep it on their half, on their offensive half. Well, our viewers can see that in his system, in Corvo's system, he's got four in midfield. So he makes it very tough for Rancher to be able to play through. Juan Hernandez tries to send that one into the middle. Now with the ball is Sergio Bermudez, one of the leading scorers. He scored a couple goals this year for Rancho. And that one's going to slip all the way through to the keeper. Great job he's done this year. Emil Mingestad, Jr. A bunch of shutouts early on. and They played good soccer most of the season. Trying to get back on a little bit of a roll. They, they played St. Ignatius, a very good team. Played them tough, lost 2-0. It was one of the games Coach Corwell was very proud of his team. That one trickles all the way back to the keeper again. Nice job taking that away. But Rancho ends up with it. Staying with it was Juan Hernandez. Now it trickles out on the near side. Good battle there between Hernandez and Favre. In that 4-4-2 system, those two strikers up top are, are working side to side and making sure that they're forcing Rancher to go to one side and cutting off half of the field. Bermudez tries to send it forward. Zapeta, David Zapeta chasing it down into the corner. Other top scorer for this Rancho team is Aaron Walker. Bermuda is considered the striker. They have the three up front, the two wings, and the striker in the middle. Far side it goes, only. Taken away by Ranch. Nice job stepping in front of that one on defense by Samuel Alvarado. He's just a sophomore here for the Cougars. And we have a foul call that goes against Rancho. That was called on Edgar Zamora. See if Newman can take advantage. Sliding it forward. This is Liam Curry. Now Favre. Chase down into the corner and out. Newman's got two central defenders that typically don't play that position. Uh, Will Lou is typically your left outside back, but due to some injuries, uh, yellow card accumulation to, uh, to Cardinal Newman, uh, he's forced to play uh, more central. And Carnali just recently coming off uh, an injury, is finally back and healthy. That will help. Good defender, good player for this team, good all-around athlete as well. They kick that one out to the far side. Newman will have a chance to gather this in. Wojcik gets it into the middle. Demaro, they're also missing, of course, uh, John Luca Demaro, one of their top players. He's going on to play college, signed earlier this year. He is out, has an injured calf, taken away in the middle, trying to slide it through. Espinoza right there for Rancho Catati. Cougars gathered in near midfield. Trying to attack. Good job stepping in front of that one by Newman defender. Angel Ruiz takes it down for Newman. And now one of the Rancho players falls. Another foul call right in the middle there. This one goes against Newman. 
believe that was called on Memphis Reuter. So far, great possession by Rancho Katati. Good ball movement. They're going from side to side, trying to disorganize the Carlin Newman defense to see whether or not they can find some space in behind them. Espinoza slides it forward. Taking it in now is Juan Hernandez. And that one slides out. Good defensive pressure by Lou. Gathering it in, Favre. Almost got it into the middle to Abbott. Sammy Abbott now will get the touch. He tries to turn the corner, still gathers it in. Nice ball forward to Favre. See if he can center it up. Long shot and the keeper is there. Nice job by the keeper to play that well. He got a pretty good look on that. So the ball trickles out on the far side. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, this is great ball movement by Carl Newman. It's an opportunity. I, I, uh, great, great opportunity for Newman uh, looking to probably cross the ball and, and unfortunately went right to the goalkeeper. Send this one all the way back to the keeper, Calvillo. He sends it forward. Nice high kick. Very deep. Got it all the way into Newman territory. And that's something that Rancho Matati will do tonight, considering that Newman has four midfielders crowding that space. They may try to play more direct from, from the back. Hernandez got to that one. Now it's sent all the way back. Rancho takes it back away in the midfield. Babadilla. Moreno sends it back again. Newman defense trying to pack it back. Rancho will hang on to the possession with 29 to go here in the first half. 0-0. Right in front. Newman gets a foot on that, barely. Right ahead of the attacker right there, which was Edgar Zamora. Throw in coming up now for Rancho. Zamora trying to gather it in, and that one's kicked way over the top. Well, to Newman's credit, they've yeah, you, you can see here that they're they, they're very compact in the back, right? They're not going to give Rancho Cotati much chance. They're going to contest every ball, and and the pressure on the shooter uh, forced him to put it over the net. Kicked out on the near side. Juan Hernandez gets it over to Yale Babadilla. Rancho sends it to the far side, switching it to Angel Ruiz, and a foul call in the middle of the field. Goes against Newman. Abbott picked up that call. Rancho doing a good job switching the point of attack, trying to disorganize that Carlo Newman midfield. Espinoza in the middle for Rancho. Babadilla taken away momentarily. Rancho hangs on to it. Babadilla in the middle, trying to get it into the striker. Zamora tried to get there, but a nice job by the keeper to come out and grab that one. Mengstab. Here's another look at that. Yeah, Rancho, Rancho gets into the offensive third, looking to try to... But again, defensively, Newman stays between the ball and the goal and prevents any real serious challenge. Menga Stab sends this one to the far side, taken away right in front by Rancho. Opportunity here. Ball sits just a little behind the striker, Bermudez, and he can't get on it. 
Favre runs it down. That was a great opportunity right in front, but the ball was behind him, and he could not get a foot on it. Yeah, Carlin Newman lucky to get out of that one. Yeah, Rancho definitely had numbers right there. It looked like three on two, if not four on two, right in front of the goal. Into the middle. A little bump from behind, no call. Favre trying to keep the possession, but Zapata has it. But right now, Rancho Cotati is a little more dynamic. I mean, they're, they're willing to, to push the ball forward either with a dribble or, or a pass. And uh, even though there's four in the middle for Newman, they, they've been able to get beyond them and into their uh, attacking third on more than one occasion now. About 25 minutes now left in this first half. Still 0-0. Nice job coming up and getting that one and a foul call in the middle. The players helping each other up. Marino got called for the foul right there. You like to see that good sportsmanship. Giovanni DeMauro, the freshman. Made a good play on that ball. Will Liu taking the free kick. Nice takeaway. Rancho's there, however. Liu loses it. Here comes Rancho now. Another good opportunity. Bermudez sending it forward. Zamora is there. Zamora breaks away and he finds the goal. Zamora scores. A goal for the Rancho Katati Cougars. Edgar Zamora. Here it is. Looks like it was offside, Dave. So they're going to call it back. Oh, my goodness. Yep, take that point off the board. Again, there's Rancho Katati being very aggressive and trying to move the ball forward. I did not see the flag go up. All the way back it goes. Calvillo. Out. Let's see if we can pick up that offside call. Boy, I don't know I about don't that. Oh no, man! He didn't see, it seemed like <laughs> I, he was well onside. Yeah, there. I don't. I don't see it from here. Uh, I think Ranch lost. I didn't see them complaining a whole lot about it. No, I mean, no. was clearly a defender. Their head well coach at home might be though. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I. I yeah, I didn't see the flag go up either, but let's go back to the other angle. Maybe we can see it from here. I mean, clearly the defender's in front of him. Oh, you know what it might have been? It might have been a foul and not off. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, You know what? But he's got the flag up, uh, up field, so I, I think the call was offside, but I, I just don't see it. There was a little collision right yeah. as the two players came to the ball, but it looked like both were just playing the ball. So yeah. Man, Whatever, the, the goal is off the board. We remain at 0 0. Lucas only, far side for Newman. When you watch him play, he's one of the most dynamic players in Cardinal Newman midfield. Wojcik will throw this in now for the Cardinals. Good opportunity here. Curry centers it up. Rancho gets a toe on it. 
Another opportunity. This shot goes just high. Great ball movement by Carl Newman. And you can see they do that. When they switch the point of attack and, and switch the, uh, the field, right, Rancho doesn't respond as quickly, and that allows them to get into that offensive third. Looks like it was Lucas only that took that shot. Yep. Yeah. And I said earlier, he, he's, he's probably one of the most dynamic players on the field, capable of, of not only breaking somebody down 1v1, but really an intelligent ball player. Newman's got some players out in front. See if they can gather this in. Sammy Abbott trying to gather it in. Rancho hustling some players back defensively, and they managed to dodge the bullet. Great opportunity for Newman. They just couldn't get the ball on the ground fast enough. That's the one thing about playing on the turf that I think some coaches don't like is the fact that the ball doesn't settle as well. It does tend to bounce a little higher, and an opportunity like that may have cost Newman an opportunity to get a shot off. Yeah, sometimes you don't get that natural bounce that you would on, uh, on natural grass, true. I noticed that the JC, they're redoing all their fields, but the soccer field is going to be natural grass. Everything else is going to be turf. Ball right down in front. Almost getting ahead on that for Newman. Looks like we're going to get a corner perhaps here for the Cardinals. Check that out. Nope, it's a goal kick. Yeah, this is a great ball into the, uh, into the box. And, and unfortunately, the header just wasn't on goal. Will Lou tosses it over to Liam Curry for the throw in. Under 20 minutes to go in the half. Sammy Abbott in front. Slides it ahead. Oh, nice play for Rancho. That was... Well done. Yeah, that was David Zepeda, the junior. Little bicycle kick. Keeping that, because Newman had a chance to attack it. That gets through David. Throw in for the Cougars. Newman takes it away. Favre in front. Juan Hernandez battling with him. Rancho has it. Rancho switches it to the far side now. Both teams kind of picking up the pace just a little bit here. Yeah, certainly Carlo Newman. I mean, they've, they've gotten into the attacking third on a, on a handful of occasions now. And uh, you know, we'll see whether or not Rancho Cotati can continue to possess the ball and, and gather some of the momentum back. <laughs> Throw in Rancho. Bermuda is trying to keep it in on that far side. He'll throw it in now. Trying to get it into the middle. Walker. Newman takes it away. Only goes down hard. No call. Let him play on that one. Ball slides all the way through. Look out. Nice defense. Getting back and making the play on defense for Newman was Liam Curry. Two great plays there. Retro Katata being able to push the ball through into the attacking third and then Newman coming back. Yeah, this ball it's, a, it's driven on the ground uh, through the, uh, the central defenders and the outside back and well, well defended by Carl Newman and Liam. Corner kick now. Out in front, Mengestab gets to it, off his chest. One of the Newman defenders helped out. Cleared momentarily, Rancho feeling they, they have an opportunity to attack, but it's taken away by Olney. Olney gets it to Abbott. Abbott with a little room in the middle of the field. Slides it all the way to the far, to the near side. That was Reuter, now it's Fabre. And it goes out on the near well side. Well defended by Rancho Cotati. Outside back, tracking back. And uh, you know, 
wasn't going to allow him to come back inside. That one's out. Let's take, check out that defensive play a little bit earlier. This was a great play. Ball sent through. Again, two great plays there. That's a, that's a gorgeous ball into the attacking third. And now, he look, he, Liam breaks down and, and, you know, waits for Rancho Cotati to make the mistake of the bad touch and then pounces on it and knocks it out of bounds. And I think I've even got another angle of that one. Again. Splitting the defense there. Fantastic. I just can't say enough about that pass. Long ball sent down into the middle. Abbott's oh, there. The God. keeper's there. What he a dives on it. Save. Great save oh. by Calvillo. Rancho countering and sending it long. Manga Stab is there. Fifteen minutes to go here in the first half. Still 0-0. Rancho had a goal taken off the board. Kind of thinking it was an offside or a foul call. Not really positive which way they went on that as Mangastab runs it down again. Reuter has it taken away. Will Lou. Great long ball. Favre trying to get there. Two Rancho defenders are there. Abbott now tries to catch up. Here's that earlier save by Calvillo. Great ball in behind. What a save. I mean, great, the great focus by the uh, Ranch Cotati goalkeeper. All the way to the far side it goes. Espinoza. And out. Rancatati making Cardinal Newman defend the width of the field. They've done a good job in the first 25, 30 minutes or so of, of spreading the ball around and, and having Newman chase them. Trying to maintain the possession here. Fabre gets it back. Curry sends it back to Lou. Lou back to the keeper. Mingastab. Only to Reuter. Reuter, nice long ball. Sammy's out there, but he's offside. That one was obvious. Great idea, but that starts that starts with possession. It starts with knocking the ball around, uh, having Ranch Gutati sort of open up and having to defend. All of a sudden, that space becomes available. There's that earlier save again. Yeah, again, fantastic. I mean, that's a big time save. Now Calvillo took that one right off the chest. That was a great play. Keeps it at 0-0. Zero, zero. Calvillo now sends it over to one of the Cougars. This is Espinoza. Newman will have the free kick here. Wojcik will hit this one. Trickles all the way through. Calvillo right there.
Rancho, trying to counter, but they can't quite catch up with it. That was Bermudez trying to hustle after that one before it trickled out. One of Corvo's objectives going into the game today was to try to maintain more possession than they have in previous games. One of the things he's felt is that they've, they've played direct too quickly. Instead of knocking the ball around, linking some passes together, opening the field up, creating some space, and then going forward. Gathering this one in is Curry. Nice play on defense for Rancho. That was Babadilla. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with the way Rancho Cotati defends. I mean, they, they're not going to let you cut back inside uh, uh, if, if, they, if they can keep you out there. Uh, there's not a whole lot of damage you're going to be able to do to create some opportunity. So well, well, well defended by Rancho Cotati. Tomorrow had that one near the middle of the field. Now it's back to the freshman. Curry, Juan Hernandez takes it away. Curry and Hernandez battling hard. Quick throw in, no. I think it's going to be a foul on Carlo Newman. Again, great 1v1 defending by Katati. Hernandez. That one's going to get through. Look out. Bermudez trying to catch up with it. Lou trying to hustle back. Bermudez has it. Bermudez tries to get the shot off. He does, but it's stopped cold right in front. Mangastab was right there for the save. Nice shot on goal. I tell you, as, as pretty as that was by Katati, you can see Will pushes him. Lou pushes him to the outside, you know, forcing a bad angle. And then a much easier save than it might have been had he gone directly on goal. Another angle of that. Yeah, Lou pushing him to the outside, to the right, to the right. And unfortunately, probably didn't get as much on that shot that he wanted. Bermudez again, a little chipper right inside, and Mangastab has it. Curry now for Newman. Will Lou. Lucas only now for Newman, right into the middle. Newman doing a nice job possessing the ball right here. And this is what coach wanted them to do. Didn't want them necessarily going forward right away. Wanted them to knock it around, link some passes together. Bermudez has it now. Tries to kick it to the near side and missed his mark. Boy, you know, Newman has done a good job defensively with that back four, but you get the sense that Katati is very dynamic, very dangerous, and they're just a, another touch away of possibly getting in behind the central defenders. Good ball will put up the field. See if Newman can take advantage of this possession. Rancho takes it away. New player who checked in. That was Alejandro Castillo. And a foul call.
Wojcik will hit this one. Senior left back for this team, Ryan Corvo. Really appreciates that senior leadership, especially with all the young players she has on this team. Wojcik gathers it in again. Castillo trying to send forward. Lucas Olney in right in the middle of the field now. This one's going to slide all the way back. Will Lou sends it out on the far side. Under six to play here in the first half. You'd like to see Carla Newman hold possession there with their central defenders, Lou in particular, using his goalie. But chose to kick it out of bounds and give Ranch Patati the, goal kick, uh, the uh, throw in. Bermudez, who's covering a lot of ground tonight. Well, I tell you, he, I'm impressed with Bermudez. He's all over. Yeah. Rancho trying to keep it down in their third, trying to get an opportunity in front of the goal. They've had a couple chances. Had the one goal taken off the board. New player checking in for the Cougs. And unfortunately, we don't have him on our roster. Oh, yeah, we do. That's uh, Brian Cruz Amaya. 18 we don't have on our roster. That one slides through. Manga stab. Volleys that one toward the middle. Foul call that goes against Abner Martinez. Will Lou gathers it in. Martinez, fresh legs on the field for Rancho. Spinoza into the middle. Bermudez has it. Lou gets a piece of that one. Call goes against the ranch. Lou. Nice stop by Olney. Looking for Favre. He got it. Hernandez and Favre. That's been a good battle all night. Rancho takes it away. Some opportunity for Carla Newman in that last possession, but again, I'd like to see them knock the ball around a little bit, maybe go side to side, back, then forward. I think that's where they've been creative tonight and have had their chances when they've been shown patience with the ball. Lou with a takeaway near midfield. Look out, this is an opportunity again for the ranch. And a call, right? I don't think that was in the box, just outside the box. Just outside the box, but probably the right call. See if we can pick that one up. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. He plays the man and doesn't play the ball. Good opportunity here for the Cougars now. Direct free kick. 25 yards out. Looks like Bermudez is going to hit it. Well, why not? With his work rate tonight, he yeah. deserves an opportunity to get it on goal. I agree. See Newman trying to set up the wall right there. Under two minutes to go. Time will be kept on the field. Bermudez trying to make something happen right here. Hits it strong, and Mingus Stab has it. Great save by Mingus Stab. Nice. 
long shot just high. Oh my goodness. Terrific opportunity there by Olney. Let's go back to the save on the direct free kick. Yeah, four plays on the wall for Carlton Newman. It's a right footed shot. More or less seen the entire time. Great save. I thought he went all the way around the wall. He might have gone just over it yeah. or between two guys. That was an interesting play. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Second foul by Cornelli in, in the last couple of minutes, but at least it's it's a tactical foul, which means that for the most part shouldn't be that dangerous. Bermudez hits it. Mega stab is there. going to do it for the first half. Zero, 0 after one. Interesting first half of play. The one goal that was taken off the board. I think both teams had to be pretty pleased with their opportunities to attack and, and uh, you know I think their, their, their defensive has been up to the task. Their keepers have both played really well in the first half too. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Carl Newman has, has, has been a lockdown with their, their four in the back. I mean, you're talking about, uh, you know, players playing positions that typically wouldn't be in that scenario. And, and look, I, I'm impressed with Ranch Katati. I mean, well, well coached. You have to be in order to be able to defend 1v1 the way that they did. So 0-0 zero, zero at the half. We'll take a break right here. Be back with some highlights of the first half of play and the team totals as well. Take this opportunity to learn more about Cardinal Newman High School. Cardinal Newman was my first choice because it felt like home when I first visited. I think that my parents wanted me to have a place where I can succeed academically and they found that Cardinal Newman was the best place for that. There's definitely a sense of pride, you know, either wearing my Letterman jacket out and saying, you know, I'm at Cardinal Newman, I'm representing this community and I'm proud of it. I know the sense of community that I get here will, you know, it's something that's very, very important to me and that I hold close to my heart. And so, yeah, there's definitely a sense of pride. It's kind of a whole community mindset that shows that. And something that's great, I feel like, is everybody wants to succeed themselves, but they want their peers and classmates to succeed as well. I would say the most unique thing about Newman is the community. I just really like that if even outside the classroom, if something's going on and I need help with something, I can either ask a teacher or someone in the office, and they're more than willing to help. We were really looking for our boys to feel like they were in a place where everybody knew their name, People were looking out for their well-being and just a small, um, supportive culture. Cardinal Newman High School is a very special place. It is a faith community where everyone is known and cared for. And we grow and develop into the people that God calls us to be. We're challenging them to get better at things, to push themselves, to grow in all those different areas, whether it's intellectually or athletically or spiritually. I definitely... Uh care a lot about my faith. It's a big part of who I am. It feels great knowing that I go to a school where I can express myself and my faith and not be judged by anybody. I didn't grow up religious um, in my family and so being exposed to the Catholic religion really helped me grow as a person spiritually and being able to learn about other people's experiences through that has allowed me to grow as a person morally and as a student at Cardinal Newman. I think the most important quality that a student at Cardinal Newman needs to have is a willingness to grow. So connecting that with our mission, our mission is that students will grow mind, body, and spirit. So we need to make sure in terms of mind that students are willing to challenge themselves academically, um, they're motivated to do their best, 
We also want them to be a part of our student body, so get involved in sports, clubs, the arts, whatever that means to them, so that they're a part of our community, because that's such a huge part of what we offer. Carl Newman's success in helping students grow, whether it be academically, in arts, athletically, and in service, is really coming down from two things. One, the school's mission and tradition, that as a Catholic school, it's an institution of service and care, and that it wants to bring people in and help them grow, and, and not only reach their potential, but to help them be able to contribute. And the other great strength is really the faculty. Those who are teaching and coaching and developing, they help people grow because they put the best into. They care about the people they're working with, they want to help them, and I think the students benefit greatly by having people who know them well. I think having the student-teacher connection has been a very big advantage for me and being able to communicate with my teachers and not feel like I can't. My classmates that know me would say, first off, that I don't really talk much. I'm a pretty shy person. I feel like I've put myself out there as a leader. Maybe not firsthand, but leading by example. And just that means always being on your schoolwork, always being a good person. Coming to Newman, all my teachers and coaches, when they see me struggling with something, they take note of that and try and help me overcome that. So that's just one thing that's helped me. So we're asking them to engage with the community outside of our school, outside of their families, to use those gifts and talents. We want them to go out and be contributing members of society. The goal of our Cardinal Newman Catholic education is to form our students in mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and spirit so that they are ready to go out and be adults in the world. The most important trait that I learned at Cardinal Newman was a sense of service. You know, for myself, at that time and age, the world had kind of been around me, and it changed my attitude. So I think service is something that students give not only their family, but to the community, to the school, is one of the most important things that happens here, and certainly the most influential thing I learned here. We were greatly impacted by our oldest son's um, community service learning project, or CBSL. And I know a lot of schools now have to do service hours, but we really saw firsthand how Newman took it to the next level. And for our son, it, what, it turned into not just community service, but it really turned into a calling for him and something that really got him excited about going to school. And we really felt like it went hand in hand with the social justice aspect that Newman's trying to promote and teach. And to have kids uh, get the opportunity to learn firsthand and give back to their communities was really a valuable, powerful lesson for not just our son, but it trickled down and got the whole family excited about his opportunity. I think it really culminated with his experience with the college counselors that were just top notch. We didn't seek any outside college counseling, just what was offered in-house. We just felt very attended to and a part of this community. Sonoma County has been through a lot and I think our decision to um, send William here and we have a younger daughter who will go here as well was really affirmed when you see the Cardinal Newman community come together. I think that we've all grown to appreciate one another, especially since we've gone through so many hardships together. We've learned how to help each other as a community, even if we're not necessarily good friends. We've all learned that we can lean on each other for support when we need to. Me and my friends get a big group and we go support the people in the dance class at their dance recitals. Because of that smaller scale, you're known more as an individual and your value is greater within a smaller school because the school needs you to contribute. It's made me a better person and that's just one of the greatest things about this school. I think for Cardinal Newman education to be valuable, it has to be something where the student not only feels they receive, but they can give. And what I felt always is that Cardinal Newman gives a well-rounded education that helps the whole person learn. And, and, and educates them in, in all facets of their life. And I think that is really the most important thing, education, that it be complete, that it be caring, and that it bring the best out of the student. And welcome back. There you see the score here at the half. It is 0-0.
Good matchup so far. Dave Cox and Henry Belmonte bringing you the action so far. Both teams had some opportunities. The defense has stepped it up. And, of course, the one goal that was erased for Rancho Cotati, uh, wide open second half, anybody's game. Yeah, no, I think so. I mean, I, we knew it was going to be competitive, and it certainly lived up to the billing. Um, I mean, two teams, very well coached, very disciplined on defense. I mean, Cotati, 1v1 defending, I think, has been excep exceptional. And, and Newman, uh, they're, they're back four, as I said during the broadcast, typically not playing together, have done a fantastic job today. Let's take a look at the highlights of the first half of play. Here it is. Yeah, for an, uh, an opportunity for Carmen Newman. I think this is t t wanting to be a cross, but it gets on goal, but still a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Mega stab coming out and just barely getting a hand on that yeah, one. Yeah. Again, anytime you put that ball up on top, it, it can, it's, it's always dangerous. And this was the goal that was called either offside or a foul. We're yeah, not 100% sure which way they went on that. Not, not sure why. And only getting a shot on goal, able to turn the defender, get one off. Most of Newman's this, shots were taken from long range. Yeah, this, this is a great ball by Ranch Cotati. Again, just, just good defending by Carlo Newman. Yeah, that was Curry making that play defensively. And this is a big time save by the Ranch Cotati goalkeeper. I mean, he makes himself big as he's coming out. And uh, just, a, just a fantastic save. Yeah, we got two angles of this one. Yeah. I mean, great opportunity for Carl Newman. They just couldn't execute. <laughs> and again, it is great, great play by Rancho Cotati. Put the ball up over the defending uh, uh, Carl Newman back line. But Lou does a great job in pushing him off to the side. There's the direct free kick by Bermudez. Nice save. Yeah, yeah. I think he sees it the whole way. But, but again, is wants to be conservative and go to the ground and make sure that he gathers the ball. And we'll take a look at the team totals from the first half now. Shots about even. Not very many corners in that first half, which is kind of interesting. No, I just went for Rancho Cotati. Uh, but again, I think it's, it's indicative of what we're seeing out there in the field, that it's, it's a very competitive game. And, and, and I think you're right. I think the second half allows itself. I think the team that wants to possess and has patience will have the success in the second half. All right. We'll take a break right here and be back with the start of the second half of play. It is 0-0 here at the intermission. Today we ask God's blessing on this center of seeking, learning, and teaching what is true so that the students who come here will be empowered to live their faith more fully, completely, and faithfully. That's the reason why we deem it necessary and valuable to have a beautiful building so we can attest to the students and to the teachers that what you are doing here is important. Make it become a center where students and teachers imbued with the words of truth. Even though this is an existing school, in many ways it is now a new school. We dedicate this building to the education of youth, to the progress of the sciences, and to learning. Here we go. It's halftime, 0-0. Opportunity to let you know that tonight's game is sponsored by McCormick & Company Homes & Loans, a family tradition of experience, trust, and loyalty, specializing in real estate sales and listings private money investments, and unique financing. Let our family help your family find a solution to all of your real estate needs. As proud Cardinal Newman sponsors and alumni, all consultations are complimentary. Call Marty, Rory, or James today at 526-1700. Also sponsoring today's game is W Real Estate, founded in Sonoma County. W Real Estate has built a solid reputation of excellent customer service, attention to detail, and results. We're a local company with a global marketing program, and our team of professional agents know the Bay Area like no other. Consistently recognized as one of the top real estate brokerages in the North Bay, our agents work here, play here, and are active members of the community. Whether you need assistance buying or selling, we provide unparalleled service and expertise that will exceed your expectations. W Real Estate. Getting ready for the second half of play now. Well, 
Newman will get the kickoff. Looks like Lucas only will do the honors. And away we go. Sent to the near side. This is Olney. Olney finds Wojcik. Wojcik to Sammy Abbott. Abbott with a nice chance to run down the near side. Olney. Tries to slide it back but can't get it to tomorrow. Here comes Rancho now. Walker. That one slides all the way through. And out. Good build up by Carla Newman. I mean, they linked eight or nine passes, switched the point of attack. Forcha gave it away. And Katati, a little bit more direct early here in the second half. Ruiz getting it back to Espinoza. Bermudez might have stopped that. Yeah. Like Zapata was trying to send that one all the way through, maybe even take a shot on goal, but looked, he hit his own man. Yeah, it looked like it was, an, uh, it was an attempt on goal. We've got the benefit of being able to hear Coach Corvo uh, shout instructions to his players, and he, he's telling them to slow the pace down. He's telling them to keep the ball, possess, move it around, try to disorganize Ranch Patati, and then go forward. Wojcik, good opportunity. Only, only will take a run, and he's bumped. Is that inside the box? No call. No. Man, that was very close. Yeah, it was close. But I think it was well defended. And shoulder on shoulder. I think he was playing the ball. Um, I think it's the right call. We have the tail end of it right there. We couldn't really see the bump. They were kind of stride for stride. It was definitely inside the box, though. Yep. Nice move. But it seems to be a little bit different mindset with Carlton Newman right now. I mean, they, they, they look to be a little bit more patient, want to have, uh, be on the ball, uh, not necessarily intent on going forward unless, unless they've got the space to do so. Olney slides it forward. Favre to the ground. Ooh. Going against Colonel Newman. Wow. Interesting. Favre and Hernandez mixing it up. Well, no, no, I think Newman's going to get the free kick here. Yeah. May even be, be seeing a card here. No. Thought he was reaching for the pocket for a second. Great opportunity for Newman here. Let's see whether or not there's anything dynamic about it or whether perhaps he puts it right into the box. Nice save. Calvillo getting up for that. Rancho maintains it. Good opportunity. Long shot, but Megastab is there easily. Megastab gets it back in play quickly. Wojcik. Take away. Tried to center that up for Bermudez, but he was not there. That was Zamora with that steal. Rancho maintains it again. Here's Bermudez. Has the more in the middle, and he slides it all the way through and out. Here's that direct kick again moments ago. Yeah, an opportunity for Carla Newman. You really want to give your, 
your teammates an opportunity to get on the ball. This is sent directly to the goalkeeper. Makes a good save, but, but kind of a wasted opportunity for Newman. Dangerous spot on the field right here. See if Newman can get some breathing room. Now they do. Wojcik. Long centering pass. Favre couldn't quite get it. Katadi's got some players that have got great composure on the ball. I mean, there's a sense of confidence when it's at their feet that they're going to do something special with it. These teams will go their separate ways when league play starts. Rancho in the Oak, Newman in the Redwood division of the North Bay League. Old rivals, though, they've been going at each other for a long time in the NBL. It's great that they were able to play in this preseason. Rancho has it. Marino, Philippe Marino in the midfield. Favre trying to gather it in. Rancho maintains it. Sent back to the keeper now. Jose Calvillo. Nice long kick by Calvillo. Lou was right there. Gathered in by the Cougars. Here's Bermudez. Dumps it down into the left corner. Centered up. Mengestab is there. That's a great ball by Bermudez to get in behind the defenders. I don't know how he slipped that one through. That was close. Sammy Abbott slid out on the near side by Angel Ruiz. <laughs> Wojcik with the throw in. Lucas Olney now has it for Newman. Taken away by the ranch. Good defensive play by Zapeta. David Zapeta. Still 0 0. Sent out far side by Rancho. Newman will have the ball again on that their half, trying to get something going offensively. And I agree, their energy is a little different. Their strategy seems to be paying off a little bit here. See if they can break the ice here. Still 0-0. Manga stab taking it all the way back now. Newman tries to spread the field out a little bit here. Rancho takes it away. Babadilla. Back into the middle. Oh, and a foul call up top. Yeah, an unfortunate occurrence. You don't want to have that type of foul happen right outside your box. Now it gives Katadi an opportunity to get something on goal. Yeah, it's centered in. And I mean, defensively, defensively he was trying to get in front of the player, but, but unfortunately didn't get the ball. Another direct free kick here for the Cougs. See if Bermudez takes it again. So last time out, they showed both a righty and a left-footed kicker. It was a right-footed shot. Let's see whether or not the left-footed. Ruiz is the lefty. Bermudez is the righty. Ooh. It will be Bermudez. Oh. And he got it! Oh. Bermudez sliding it through. Fans. What a shot by Bermudez. Yeah, it's set up by the lefty running up over the ball. And I tell you, with the effort that Bermudez has put in tonight, you know, it's certainly deserved. It's, it, that, that's, a, that's a classic free kick. So 
So Rancho gets the goal. Sergio Bermudez, let's take a look. Yeah, it, it, it's set up with the run over the ball. And then, and then Bermudez puts it where there, there's not going to be a goalkeeper in the league that's going to get that shot. That's a tough one, yeah. Another long kick, and that one does not find the head. One of the Cougars trying to dive in there, and everybody's into the net. Newman created plenty of opportunity in the first half. They don't have to necessarily change their style of play immediately just because they're down one goal. They can continue to knock the ball around, keep possession, create some opportunities. Yeah, here's that goal again. I mean, it's a beautiful shot. No doubter. Another shot, trickles out in front. Look out, followed up, and a goal. Who got that one? Is it Bermudez again? I think it is. Bermudez does it again. Wow. Well, you always want one or two to follow the shot into the goal, and that's exactly why, because there's typically a rebound that if the defense doesn't react to it quickly enough, the opponent will. And Rancho does that. Fantastic. Bermudez now has two goals. Well, now Newman is chasing the game. So they're, they're going to have to come out of their defensive shell, take some chances, take some additional risk. As we see it on the replay, Sean O'Gall, initial beautiful save, but Rancho reacts to the rebound before Newman does. There's Coach Ryan Corvo. So as much as possession-based he wanted to be, as I said, there's a term called chasing the game. You're down 0-2. Now you've got to go try to find two goals to get back into this. Usually means pushing some players forward, taking a little more risk, being more offensive-minded than defensive-minded. Nice possession. It's going to be a corner, I believe. Let's check it out. He does a good job to, to maintain possession. He's looking. Looks like it's a foul, but, but I think it may be a corner. It'll be the first one of the, uh, of the game for Carlo Newman. Right, Corvo is definitely looking for a foul call yeah. there. In the middle, save. another nice save. Calvillo has been solid all night. Yeah, that's that's him reading the the trajectory of that uh, of that corner, timing his jump. Well done. Yeah, he's been he, he's been solid tonight. Right. Yeah. Great timing. Now, Katati with the 2-0 lead, they can stand to hold on to the ball a little bit longer, move it around, see if they get Newman to, to, to chase them a little bit, wear them down, and then possibly look to get in behind or, or whatever space Newman gives them, get into it.
See, ranchers contend doing this all day long where they're, they're slowing the pace down, slowing the game down, trying to take Newman out of their, out of their flow, uh, not letting Newman get into any type of rhythm to, to get them back into the game. Tomorrow, sending it to the far side. Newman needs a goal, needs to attack. You get that one, and that kind of can change the dynamic a little bit, but you got to get that one. Absolutely. See the Rancho Cotati bench. Got to be pleased with their 2-0 lead. Well, they've earned it. I mean, they've, they've, they've been creative. They've been dynamic in the offensive third. Uh, they've made the most of their opportunities um, and have reacted quicker than, than, than the Newman defense has, especially on that second goal. Coach Rogers, heard he's watching from home. Into the middle it goes. Newman trying to maintain the possession. That was John Simon who entered the game moments ago. Tonight's game sponsored by McCormick and Company Homes and Loans, a family tradition of experience, trust, and loyalty, specializing in real estate sales and listings, private money investments, and unique financing. Let our family help your family find a solution to all your real estate needs. And as proud Cardinal Newman sponsors and alumni, all consultations are complimentary. Call Marty, Rory, or James today. Menga stab with the goal kick. That trickles out to the near side. Again, Katati content to have this game slow down to a snail's pace and, and absolutely no rush to go forward. Maintain possession. Sammy Abbott with a little bit of an opportunity there, but the ball is sent out near side. Looked like he might slip down that sideline for a moment. Rancho looking for their fourth win of the year. Back to the keeper. Opportunity for Newman. Stepping in front of that one is Simon. Taken back away by the Cougars, however. Juan Hernandez. With a run up the far side. Hernandez maintains it. Good idea by Newman, but they've got to they've got to try, use their midfield in order to be able to advance that ball. When they get up and start going direct, remember they've only got playing with two strikers up top, so right. it's, it's usually a two v four, and that's not a battle you're going to win very often. Lucas only has it now for Newman. Sending to the far side and out. It's Coach Corvo directing traffic, still trying to keep things positive, hoping they can get 
a quick goal here. They're going to change keepers out. Make a stab. We'll take a break. Wojcik had a nice opportunity there. Wojcik takes it back in. Time definitely not on Newman's side now as we go under 20 minutes. You know, they, they have to play with the sense of urgency, but, but in conjunction with that, I've got to have some patience with Yellow spaces card. in the field that they use. Yeah. Not sure who that went against. Looks like it went against... I believe it went against Zamora. Nice ball sent down by Damaro. Rancho Katati keeping the possession now. And they'll work some clocks. 17.45 to go. Out on the near side. You know, that's the fine line that you play when you start to push players up uh, to try to find a goal or two. You can get caught in transition with few people on defense. Favre into the middle only couldn't quite get to that one. And Rancho Cotati will pull it all the way back now. Yeah, credit to Rancho Cotati. They, they're just faster to the ball right now. They're, they're more aggressive defensively. Newman is starting to chase, which is what you don't want to have happen. You want the ball at your feet. Right corner it goes. Centered up and over the top. New keeper is Jordan Solano. Solano into the middle. Rancho takes it away. There's Bermudez. He scored both goals so far for the Cougars. Oh, nice move by Bermudez. Tries to center that up and does. But a nice save by Solano. How about that? Very well done. Sent back to Calvillo. Simon sends that one down. Abbott trying to get there. Abbott still looking for it. Now the ball ends up with Demaro. Demaro slides it through to Favre. Into the middle it goes. Only has it. Started right. Now he goes left. Decent shot. Good opportunity for Newman there. Yeah, this is Bermudez. I mean, his creativity, being dynamic, and, and his pass is, is at is precisely done. You know, a lot of players there would have sent the ball directly across the goal. He sends it back diagonally, giving his, uh, his teammate an opportunity to get a shot on goal. Here's Wojcik. Rancho looking for a foul call in the middle, didn't get it. Oh, 
Oh my, a little bump there, a little shoulder bump. One of the Rancho players is injured back near midfield. Lucas only utilizing his, uh, his dynamic play there to, to try to turn the Katati defender and get a left footed shot. But again, a relatively easy save for, for the goalkeeper. Helped off the field. Looks like maybe a shoulder or a rib. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. He was, I know he was looking for a foul call. And didn't get that call. But. You never know, right? No. Only has a chance if he can get there. Abbott chases it down now, but won't catch up before it goes out. Katati, Katati wants to continue to keep uh, uh, keep the ball, uh, play keep away, uh, wear Newman down. Uh, Newman, with just under 13 minutes and maybe some stoppage time, is going to have to press numbers and take a lot more risk than they are going forward. Still 12 minutes left, so if you can get that one goal, give yourself an opportunity. However, that one goal has been very hard to come by tonight. So an opportunity now, we've got a free kick uh, just outside the, uh, the box, probably about uh, 26 yards out. You know, Newman did not get their players on the ball the last time they had an opportunity. Let's see if they do it this time. Into the middle. Rancho rejects it. Long ball sent toward Bermudez. The flag is up. This is the risk that Newman takes by pushing numbers forward, but you have to, being the down 2-0. Uh, this is an opportunity for Katadi to try to counter as quickly as he possibly can. Unfortunately, this uh, scenario was offsides. Carnali sends it to the near side. Eleven thirty-five to go. Newman still looking for their first goal of the night. Sammy Abbott will try and catch up with this one. Juan Hernandez gets there first, however. And what do we got? Corner or goal kick? Looks like it's going to be a goal kick. Jose Calvillo has been rock solid in goal tonight for Rancho. Very impressive. The way he's gone up for, for balls in the air, the one he saved that he made where he, you know, he got really big in the goal mouth and on that 1v1 scenario, outstanding. New player checking in. It is Diego Moncayo. For Rancho Cotati. Carnali got there to that one, ran it down, but now it's Rancho's ball. Bermudez trying to split the middle, taken away. Curry with Hernandez. Hernandez has been outstanding on defense tonight. It's, it's that 1v1 defending by Katati. I tell you, it's the, as I said earlier, they're a very well-coached team. 
Very, very disciplined on the defense. So Newman has changed their formation a little bit right now. They've gone from that 4-4-2 where they initially started the game, pushing three players up. So now, now it looks more like a traditional 4-3-3. Near side, Favre tries to center it. Again, Rancho's defense is there, stepping in front, making another nice play for the Cougars. Was Espinoza, Ricardo Espinoza on defense. Foul call goes against Rancho. That was against Babadilla. Another opportunity for Newman to play the ball in the box and see whether or not they can get a good look at it, possibly a, a header on goal, or uh, Katati's playing a high line, so this is something that's going to go in behind the defense. Well defended by Katati, though. Yeah, Espinoza right there. This ball sent back. Carnali gets it back to Solano. Solano again. Dangerous, dangerous spot right here. Rancho has it. Nice possession by Babadilla. Back to Solano. Solano has it. Jordan Solano. Seven fifty five to go. Wojcik sliding it to head. Curry tries to get there. Curry chases it down in the corner. Centers it up for Abbott. Cleared out. Ruiz got there for the Cougars. Wojcik with another nice ball. Juan Hernandez is there for Rancho Catati. Cougars with a counter opportunity now. Playing good defense that time was John Simon for Cardinal Newman. Only has it. Here's that last save by Solano. Nice left-footed opportunity by Babadilla. Yeah, well read by him, though. Well read. Take away, Fabre. Into the corner to Wojcik. Nice so play. if I could point to two things that I think is a difference in this game, one would be the physicality of Ranch Cotati on the ball. I think that they're physically stronger on the ball than Cardinal Newman has been, and their play of their midfield. Katati's midfield play has been involved in almost every aspect of it, defensively, offensively. Can't necessarily say that about Newman. Defensively, maybe, but, but offensively, they just had not had enough presence on the ball in the attacking third to, to have made much of an impact. That one slides all the way through. Take away midfield by Lou. Fabre has it. Tries to get into the middle. It'll slide through. Calvillo has it. 
Well, you can see that Newman is starting to press now. They're, they're starting to push numbers forward. They're, they're starting to get some opportunities. Maybe not necessarily shots on goal yet, but, but at least they're getting the ball into the box. Five minutes to go. Bermuda's on a counter. Still alive by the Cougars. Olney mixing it up with Moncayo. Wojcik to Olney, but he kicks it out back right at him. Tonight's game sponsored by W Real Estate. Founded in Sonoma County, W Real Estate has built a solid reputation of excellent, excellent customer service, attention to detail, and results. We're a local company with a global marketing program, and our team of professional agents know the Bay Area like no other. W Real Estate. Down into the corner it goes again. goes and sent out on the far side. A little over three minutes to go. Time running out on the Cardinals. Great defense again by Rancho Cotati. All night long those backs have just been rock solid. That was Espinoza. Yeah, he's been he's been outstanding tonight. Now, an opportunity for Carl Newman. Now they, they this is their second corner of the of the half. Oh, see if they can get a chip in. Nope. Did land at somebody's feet. Just didn't get a lot on that. Take away in the middle. Babadia sends it all the way down. Solano will have to come out of the box for this one. Clock stopped at two minutes. Time will be kept on the field. Sammy Abbott, a little bump there. All goes against Newman. Rancho in no hurry to <laughs> try to progress the ball here. Play a little keep away for a couple minutes. Well, if you're Newman, you want to put the ball in the box. And, and you want numbers in the box to see whether or not you could create something. Calvillo's there again. He really has not made a mistake tonight. No, no, he's been, he's been absolutely outstanding. We'll have a couple soccer games for you next week as well, both a men's and a women's game. As well as a little men's basketball, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I believe the schedule looks like next week.
Got to be getting close to the time now. Yeah, there may be just a, a few seconds left because of the injury time that the referee was holding, but um, yeah, time is running out on Newman. And Katati probably making some tactical substitutions to, to slow it down. Another throw in now for Newman. See if they can get a quick goal here. Time running out. Have it. Can't maintain it. Here comes Rancho again. Another nice play by Espinoza. Super solid in the back. Ruiz, Espinoza, and Hernandez tonight have been really, really solid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even when Newman has... Um, and there's a whistle. Even there it when, is. Even when Newman pushed numbers up, Rancho Catati's midfield was able to break down and build through Carl Newman's push. So, I, look, two very well-coached teams, but as I pointed to earlier, I think Katati, the more physical presence on the ball, and, and their midfield play was outstanding. And I think that's the difference in tonight's game. No doubt about it. Well, the 2-0 final. Rancho Katati wins it. Bermudez with both goals. What a great job by him tonight. As he was definitely the man of the match. <laughs> No question about that. He, he played great even on the, the plays where he didn't score. He made some terrific plays for this Rancho Katati team. It's going to do it for our coverage tonight. Hope you have enjoyed it. The final 2-0. We'll be back with more action next week. Till then, for Henry Belmonte and all of us here at YSN365.com, I'm Dave Cox saying goodnight and thanks for watching.